The New York Times, Rolling Stone, and critics everywhere are all raving about Annihilation. It's not destroying. It's making something new. It's a mind-blowing experience. And now it's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Annihilation. Rated R. Now playing. Blog Talk Radio. Wow. What am I going to do today? Tell you about what we are going to do in the future. Will Will Tory Kittles tell me why he is not but very happy to hear that he has been called to get into the studio or something? I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not sure about that information. All I want to know, will Tory Kittles do an interview with the big screen. Now, is the big screen all that big in, in the statistics like it should be? Absolutely not. But wait a minute. I need Tory Kittles. <laughs> and maybe my statistics will grow after I promote that Tory Kittles will be talking to me on the radio show. Tory Kittles. I remember that little, little, uh, a boy back in middle school looking like he got a bad grade, looking sad because he got a B instead of an A. <laughs> and his, on his last uh, uh, test or something, I'm not sure. Some kind of thing. I, I said, God, I, I, it, it, what's going on here? He looks a little, he looks a little sad. <laughs> That's all I remember. And, and some puzzle he put together. He put that uh, United States of America puzzle together. And and he did it very easy, and I'm like, God, I'm a math, I'm a math uh, person, and I hate every last bit of trying to figure out which state goes where. He just did the whole thing in under five minutes, and he was in middle school. <laughs> he had he did not have to look at uh, any type of math or anything. He just put it together. I was like, wow. Anyway, that's all I remember. And everybody brags about Tory Kettles and how he's from somewhere and and he uh he's all big and bad on in the movies and he's all big and bad and Sons of Anarchy or something like that. I, I I'm sorry, I don't remember Sons of Anarchy because I was hurt with that my finances and I could not get cable Tory Kettles. Okay, sorry about that, classmate. <laughs> that is why I have not I have yet to see you in the movies or acting when I see you in interviews. Isn't that weird? That is weird. <laughs> I saw you uh, in the preview for the kill hole, and I, I think your acting was very good, I think. I think it was good acting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what good acting is. If I enjoy it, it it's good acting. <laughs> so I want you to talk about your future your past and what you're doing now and everything in between. And I, I want you to tell me about uh, what you want to do with your future. Do you want to be a director one day and uh, how big you want to be as far as being a director or producer of movies yourself? Are you really trying to stay uh, in that stage of, uh, uh, of, of business right now? So a lot of things you can talk about and a lot of things you want to do. I mean, what kind of life do you have with your wife and kids and everything else? Anyway, Tori, what is your problem? <laughs> Why have you not called the show? <laughs> this, this is the big stream. Who does not want to call what actor? Or, I mean, what actor or Meryl, like Meryl Streep? I, 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 I was actress. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like being called Meryl Street. I like. <laughs> well, she called in. Who else would call in? <laughs> I want to let you know that this is something special for me, and I want to get in production. I want to get into film production. I want to be good at it, and I don't want to be half A with it, and I don't want to do it like that. 
And guess who I want to be one of the people that I uh, watch on my show? Tori Kittles. <laughs> Tori, Tori, Tori. Tori, Tori, Tori. <laughs> people are messing with me that's next to me because I used to say this. Okay, and I, I have a problem, okay? I have a big problem. I'm sorry, I have to tell you this. Don't you look like Denzel Washington's little son? <laughs> Do you look like Denzel Washington's nephew? You you look like Denzel Washington's nephew. And I took out when I was in high school in my African-American history course, uh, he showed uh, uh, glory in two parts. I saw there's a Washington acting. I said, oh, my God, that looks like Tory. <laughs> that man looks like Tory. I tripped out and said, wait a minute. <laughs> he was like Tory real good back then. Look at Denzel Washington in the movie Glory. And, and look at Tory Kittles, uh, and with, with his haircut. And you would know that they look so similar. It's not even funny. Is that why you got in? Because you look like Tory. Because you like Tory Kittles. This is gonna watch. Is that why your your uh, your movie career shut off? <laughs> is that what it was? Oh, I'll tell butter up Tory Kittles. Tory Kittles. This is Robin Victoria Williams <laughs> on Blog Talk Radio slash The Big Screen. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to do some promotion of the show, and I'm going to get my my little resources together and really push the show very hard, and then I want you on the show, okay? I'm not going to put you on this show right now, all right? I got to promote the show very much mean and, and really do what I have to do, all right? And just let just to let you know, I'm a very big, big CEO of Walmart, is what someone uh, says. And they're saying that the show, uh, the big screen is going to be very big hit because everybody likes Robin and how she acts and how she trips people out. And she knows that the big screen is very big with a lot of people, and they're tripping out about Robin and how she acts like she is the biggest medium there is. Is she a psychic medium or not? <laughs> yes, I am a psychic medium. I'm real. I just, it's just, uh, it's, it's going to take a while to prove it, okay? And I'm going to tell you what's going on. A lot of psychic mediums get attacked uh, by other uh, humans and by entities unknown, and it causes their gift not to show up as strong. It causes their gift not to be as sharp. And they're they're a whole lot less accurate. And when they first start, they might be very good, but they have to keep that gift fed. They have to keep that gift fed. They have to keep that gift loved. They have to love their gift. And they think they love their gift, but they don't know how to really love their gift like they should, not because they're evil or because they don't know how to love, but you got to really love the gift in a particular way. The gift has to be loved in a very, very, very particular way, or we, or, or we psychic mediums won't be able to keep going and keep our, our accuracy up. And if you want to know why I'm so accurate, because I know about it. And um, I was hurt real bad um, when I was born. I was um, attacked by a lot of people because I was very, 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 and they wanted my gift hurt. And they told me not to learn um, uh, the book. They told me not. They told me not to learn from the book. But they don't know that the book has a lot of errors in it. <laughs> so I had to learn straight from the source. Uh, as, uh, as I know that to be God Almighty, but some people know that it's uh, through the source or the universe or whatever. And I had to learn from God, straight from God, and not from the book. And that is why I'm so accurate. They hurt themselves when they did that. All uh, right, now I just need to get my resources together and push and push and push. Not only push, but uh, push the right way. Okay, it's one thing to uh, 
really, really work. Well, you got to work the right way. Work smart. I'd rather work smart than work hard. I'd rather work smart and work hard, but not too hard to a point where I hurt my body. And later on in life, I'm dying at the age of 65 or 60 years old because I decided to overwork myself. Okay, I don't want to overwork myself, but I'm not lazy because I'm a chunky girl. Do you know that uh, chunky people really probably need to eat more or eat more protein and more fat than people of a different body type and body chemistry? Uh, these nutritionists and these people that make up these charts uh, are not all that smart. Uh, maybe they are, maybe they're not telling us something but they don't know that everybody has a different body chemistry. And you got to really test that person's blood chemistry, and they need to find a way to do something about that. Uh, this is a public service announcement. I really think uh, these nutritionists need to stop their mouths from moving right now and let themselves know that everybody's body chemistry can't take all that darn uh, bread and cereal and all that and no sugar, no no nothing. <laughs> All I know, what I got from God is that there's no such thing as bad, edible food. And if food is edible, you should pray for it, pray on it the right way. This is a particular way you have to pray for sweets and treats and fat and stuff that people think are, is, is very uh, tasty to you. If it's very tasty, you have to really pray for it the right way, and you will end up uh, healthier and losing weight. And that's why I'm losing weight, because I... Knew, I knew and I know that there's no such thing as bad food. There's no such thing as bad food. That's why I'm losing weight, okay? And because if you starve sometimes and you eat and you starve sometimes, you, you should gain weight, not lose weight, all right? Anyway, and I thought I was losing weight the bad way. I'm losing weight in the good way because I have a butt now. I have a little butt. My, my butt used to be kind of flat. <laughs> Not her butt, okay? Anyway, you want to hear all that, Tori Kittle? <laughs> about nutrition and flat butts? <laughs> no, you want to hear about some meat and potatoes and big butts, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm just doing that because you're a black man. You like big butts. All right. <laughs> Maybe you like uh, kind of cute butts or something. <laughs> anyway. Tori Kittles, yes, 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 those are not cute. Next. And uh, a few others that I'm, I'm forgetting for some reason. I saw you on uh, HBO. I saw you do a play. Uh, I saw you at an awards place. You got a little uh, award, and they gave it to you. So you, you're doing pretty well, and I'm impressed. I'm very happy for you. And and have no jealousy. You're a man. Why why should I be jealous of you? Even, even if I was a jealous type, I'm really anti-jealous. But if, even if I was a jealous type, why would I be jealous of you? You're a man. <laughs> That's just silly. <laughs> anyway, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Now, I am ready to go into Mass. I'm standing in front of uh, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. And um, the guard is usually freezing to death outside. <laughs> when I get here, I say hi to him. And I walk in, I pray a little bit. And I sit down in the front and uh, and I worship. And they treat me weird for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they treat me like I'm special, and I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This is a basilica, very much Catholic, okay? I am a Catholic. I am not Orthodox. I am not Methodist. I am not Baptist. I'm really a Catholic, and I am a devout Catholic. That is who I really am, all right? And guess what? You want to know about my religion? Now, I'm going to tell you about my political affiliation. I am a Republican. I'm a black woman. I'm a dark black woman. I'm a juicy dark black woman, and I am a Republican. That's an M. 
I am a Republican, and I cannot stand taxes. I cannot stand people who sit there and not go in, in, in not offer some kind of services or something in return for getting free food from an establishment. It's hard to do that for an individual, uh, price and buy or something like that. But I I did that with Jimmy John's and Zaxby's, and that is why they were sponsors. I was really hurt real bad, and I needed something to eat. And I know that it looks like they took advantage of me, but they didn't. It made me look good that I had sponsors. I didn't tell anyone why I had why I put them as sponsors. It made me look very big and bad. So don't y'all ever think they took advantage of me. <laughs> they did not take advantage of me. We took advantage of each other. No, it was a fair trade. All right. Anyways, thanks, Jimmy John. Thanks, Fax <laughs> All right. I am going to have Robin's birthday bash September 29th. 2017, and I'm going to have a lot of fun where I'll be acting like I'm the queen, and I want my diamonds, and I want to be cute, cute, and I want to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> I'm not going to lose all the weight. I'll be a little chunky girl, but at least my waistline will be a little smaller because I'm eating better. I know what I need to eat. I'm losing weight. I'm losing all that uh, pain on me. That would be so cute. Y'all would not believe I had checked any damn man. <laughs> anyway, Robin's birthday bash, Atlanta, Georgia. You see it on Eventbrite. You see it on kissofmusic.com. You'll see Robin's birthday bash. And it is a benefit to local charities. One of the local charities I want to benefit is Metro Atlanta Task Force for the Homeless. They helped me and also save, uh, what was it called? Safe House Outreach. I want to benefit them also. They helped me very deep. And another uh, place, uh, Salvation Army, all those places, I want to help them. And uh, different uh, uh, places that help with career development, all that stuff. And, and, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> yes, I want to thank the director at uh, Metro Atlanta Task Force for the Homeless for being good to me and let me stay again when I left. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the staff for your hard work and putting up with those girls in there, uh, kind of fighting every now and then. I know it's a very hard job. It's very demanding. I know sometimes y'all get disillusioned and, and really are not feel as good, but uh, it's a hard job and, and it's a thankless job. And people don't know how to say thank you. This is Robert Victoria Williams, and I'm the girl that's very quiet and don't say much, but I'm very happy there. Y'all think I'm very sad because I cried one time. I had a bad dream, and it, it was like a nightmare. That's why I was crying. Anyway, and that dream was a reality, okay? It was something that really happened, all right? And that is why I was in tears. I was in tears all day. It hurt me so bad. Anyway, um, Metro Atlanta Task Force for the Homeless, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I might be in trouble (laughs) about something, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, for giving me a chance, your staff is very uh, nice considering all the stuff Y'all had to put up with, y'all put up with a lot of uh, things from us, a lot of silly stuff uh, happening with, between the girls. Sometimes the girls are not, don't don't get along as nice. And, and that happens at all the shelters sometimes. People get, don't get along. I mean, that happens. We have uh, multiple people living together and not going to get along as easy. That's just life. It's nothing to make y'all look bad. It just happens. Okay, y'all were very nice to me considering my situation. I would constantly go to the hospital sometimes, and y'all let me back in, and, and I really appreciate that. Anyway, Safe House Outreach. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all fed me when I was hungry. Y'all clothed me when I was naked. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
You're very good people. Yes, I took some clothes from y'all. Yes, I did. Y'all may not remember, but I took some clothes from you. <laughs> anyway, I know I, I can tell y'all what I really need from y'all. Do you think I need? Do you know I need some fried chicken? <laughs> I'm a black woman. These are black people. Please, please, please stop messing with me about the stereotypes and what we used to go through back in the day. Please understand, I need some fried chicken. <laughs> and y'all better go down to Gus and them and get some fried chicken. And guess what? I have something, a story to tell. There was a man named... Uh, Frank, and he was walking down the street. I think it was Peach Street. I'm not sure. He was walking down the street, and he passed by Gus and uh, the little uh, the fried chicken joint down the street from me. He was passing by who's a black man who's all sophisticated and and uh, an executive that works uh, in the SunTrust building. <laughs> and he was all cool and calm. And next thing you know, the fried chicken demon <laughs> came out and smashed his nose up. <laughs> all kind of smells, all kind of good that the man hadn't eaten since the day before. It was 12 o'clock. He skipped breakfast like a fool, and now he lost his mind. <laughs> Time three. Not only would he have been hurt if he uh, did eat breakfast, he's 10 times hurt now. And the man next to him lost his mind. Who is this? <laughs> this is psychic. I'm a psychic medium. Who's trying to tell the joke with me? This is the CEO of Gus. I'm, li- I'm looking for this. That man lost his mind. Did not want to eat my fried chicken. Too many of us are dead and black people did not want to eat my fried chicken. They don't want to look like they were back in the day eating fried chicken out of an ugly joint where black people couldn't eat nowhere else. Y'all have got to understand that exactly what we want to do. Understand this here. We better support your black businesses because those CEOs of Walmart are going to fire your dumb behind. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's just real. I am a psychic medium. And this is not the psychic audio show. The psychic audio show is shut down, of course. But this is uh, the big screen. Anyway, I want Gus to know that he has fun looking at me pass by. So that girl wants to kill me here and tell me she wants to fried me so bad she don't know what to do. I want to fried chicken. They they want to feed you healthy food for nothing. <laughs> in the in the in the uh in the places that I go. They will feed you a hefty food and all kind of stuff. We go fried chicken and, and, and hamburgers and hot dogs. Three hot dogs for me. <laughs> you see a chunky hole, you know you got to give that their hole, the chicken, the cheese, all kind of stuff. <laughs> a big old hunk of lasagna. Oh, God, a salad and uh Bread sticks, all kind of garlic bread sticks, and all kind of pretty stuff. <laughs> and some of my aunt, then was apricot cake. So let me tell y'all something. We're gonna pause the station right right here. Jesus, do you know anything about Aunt Monis? Living apricot cake, I know, I know, I know. I'm not all that good with my family, but God darn it, that living apricot cake make tears roll down your eyes. Look up the recipe for nothing. She probably the only one in the world with a recipe that living apricot cake was the most beautiful thing I have ever tasted in my life. Beautiful, beautiful. It had fat, beautiful uh, in it, of course, and then the lemon and the apricot. And it, it was just the most beautiful taste. It, it was tangy, and not too tangy. It, it had the buttery tangy, and it's not buttery tangy. It, it, it's, it's just it was just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, the Madea, but nothing. But I'm like with you, and I want to tell y'all this here: that little African cake was that darn good. The darn girl body was tearing up because the girl needs sugar 
all her life. They didn't tell the girl she would need sugar. That's why she was so fat. They gave her that cake and made her feel like she was love, but they don't love her. They don't love her. They didn't want to treat her bad in the But that woman loves that new after cake. That's what she really thinks about, not her aunt mommy. I'm thinking about my aunt mommy. Angel or something? Yeah, she let her angel do that for Robin. Okay, that's what it is. So your family treats you real bad, and all of a sudden they treat you good. Sometimes the angel is very upset and wants to do something for you. Okay? Anyway, go ahead, Virginia. That woman is not healthy, happy with her family. She's not. Don't ever think she's happy with her family. Yes, I'm not happy with my family. They never hardly called me throughout my life. Uh, they would kind of hint to me that they hated the fact that I was smart and that I went to college and got that degree. They kind of hinted to me very hard that they were happy that they were happy that I got laid off uh, as a contractor when I was working at Elite Technical Services at Motorola in Boynton Beach. They seemed kind of happy about it. And I I really don't know what to say. Uh, They seemed too happy. And they seemed very upset with me when I was getting married at my wedding. At my wedding, they seemed very upset with me. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about my personal issues. Tori Kittles, can you roll? Tori Kittles. Tori, Tori, Tori. Tori, you going to be a big producer one day? You better let go of your family, maybe. Maybe not everybody's like my family. I think most families are very good people to their uh, uh, their specials. <laughs> They're gifted people in their family. And uh, I'm not sure about your family, but I think you should take a look at it. All right? All right. That's none of my business. None of my business is this is none of my business. I don't want to scare you from coming to the show. Please, please, please interview with the big screen, Blog Talk Radio, with the show host, Robin Victoria Williams. Goodbye. The New York Times, Rolling Stone, and critics everywhere are all raving about Annihilation. It's not destroying. It's making something new. It's a mind-blowing experience. And now it's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Annihilation. Rated R. Now playing. The New York Times, Rolling Stone, and critics everywhere are all raving about Annihilation. It's not destroying. It's making something new. It's a mind-blowing experience. And now it's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Annihilation. Rated R. Now playing.